Hello and welcome to the Self-Reliance Outfitters channel. I'm Matt Mercer, instructor for the Pathfinder School and the founder of the Black Hat Bushcraft channel here on YouTube. And today what I wanted to do was give you a good look at this new Pathfinder Titanium line which releases on October 30th. That date's coming up really quick. And so today what I wanted to do was just show you the new pieces that will be releasing. And I also wanted to give you a quick rundown of some of the pros and cons of titanium. It's like any material that you choose for a cookware. We have cast iron, we have stainless steel, aluminum, and titanium. And each one comes with its own strengths and weaknesses. So we'll talk about that briefly today. I'll show you the new pieces. That way you can decide if this is something that you may need or something that may serve you well in your kit. Let's get started. So as I've already mentioned, any cooking vessel that you choose to carry in your kit is going to have its own strengths and weaknesses based upon the material that that vessel is made from. As I mentioned, the big four, cast iron, stainless steel, aluminum, and titanium, each one falls on a spectrum. Let's say cast iron is at this end of the spectrum, titanium is the polar opposite. The reason I say that is cast iron is very dense, very heavy, and when it's seasoned up properly, it becomes non-stick for the most part. It heats up slowly and it disperses heat very evenly. That's why cast iron has been revered again for centuries. However, carrying a cast iron pan, a big size cast iron pan in you, or a Dutch oven in your kit is quite a burden. That's where titanium comes in as, as the polar opposite end of the spectrum. It's not nearly as dense as even stainless steel, much less cast iron. It heats up very quickly and it cools off very quickly at that. Um, so while that's a strength that heats up quick, it cools off quick, and that can be strength or weaknesses depending on how you're looking at it. Um, titanium does have the ability to have hot spots. So if you're cooking on like a rocket stove, that thing's gonna be hotter where the flame is contacting it, whereas cast iron disperses that heat. So those can be pros and cons. However, they can be mitigated. As long as you understand that material and its properties, then you can manipulate that and cook great in titanium. Sometimes things like titanium or aluminum get a bad rap because of being misused so as long as again you understand how to use titanium correctly cook with it correctly you'll have no problems and again you'll enjoy that lightweight material in your backpack versus carrying something heavier stainless steel and especially cast iron of all the options on the market for cooking gear to carry in the field titanium is going to be your lightest weight option so if you're trying to reduce weight in your kit just to get that backpack a little bit lighter if you're through hiker, you're hiking a longer distance, titanium is gonna be a great choice for you. Another plus for titanium is it's much more non-stick than aluminum and even maybe stainless steel. The key I've found with titanium is to cook over a low heat setting and to make sure to use a little butter or oil for whatever you're cooking. But if you cook over that lower heat and you're just careful and watch your pan, which is always the case, you'll have a lot less messes than you do, especially with aluminum. Another pro of titanium is it heats up very quickly. So therefore you can start cooking quickly and it'll be more fuel efficient in that way. On the flip side of that, as it heats up quickly, it also cools quickly. So that could be either a pro or con depending on how you look at it. Once you cook your food, if you're ready for that thing to cool down quickly so you can get your hands on it, it's good for that. The last big benefit that I'll mention about titanium is it's a very stable material. So it doesn't tend to react to foods that may be acidic or alkaline as some other materials might. And it doesn't change its properties when it's exposed to higher heat temperatures. So it's not gonna leach anything harmful into your food. There are some studies that suggest materials like aluminum can leach into your food and with long-term exposure could have health risks. Again, that's a very debatable thing. There's a lot of people that have used aluminum their entire life with no adverse reactions, but titanium is very stable and would be one of the safest choices for cook gear. One other drawback that some people might see about titanium is it absolutely costs more than stainless steel and aluminum cook gear. And that's because it's very desirable because it does have a lot of really good properties to it. Titanium is just a more expensive material. All right, so with all that said, let's take a look at the individual pieces of the titanium line that release on October 30th. And this here is the new titanium bottle. And the bottle is 1,050 milliliters and it does come with a full titanium cap. And I have carried this thing around a lot. As you can hear, it's got water in it and it is definitely leak proof. I have not 
had one drop leak out of this thing, so I'm very pleased with that. The cap is very heavy duty. As you can see, it has a nice grippy edge to it here. And some people don't like the sound of titanium, uh, those titanium threads, but if you're just careful, it doesn't make a whole lot of noise. So if you're hunting or if you're just trying to be quiet in the woods, if you're careful, you can remove the cap without making much noise. It does have a very good rubber o-ring or maybe silicone o-ring seal there. Very nice cap. The cap almost weighs as much as the whole bottle, it seems. So I'll go ahead and give you a side-by-side -side comparison here of the traditional Pathfinder stainless bottle and cup set we've been using for many years. You can see that the titanium bottle and cup are just a little bit taller and slimmer, but they're very comparable in size. Just, of course, titanium being lighter than stainless steel. All right, so this is how the titanium cup comes packaged. It has its own lightweight mesh stuff sack. When I received my bush pot many months ago, it came the same way and also the new skillet has its own mesh stuff sack. So those are nice to keep your kit together. When you open this thing up, you have your cup and lid. Nothing too complicated about it. It's simply a titanium cup and lid. It has nice butterfly handles. Mine are very stiff, which is nice. Uh, they stay in place. These are large butterfly handles, so if you are wearing gloves in cold weather or if you're using leather gloves to take it off the heat, you'll have no problem getting your hands on this. And then up top, you just have a little triangle lifter here that you could latch onto with a Y stick or something like that to get your lid on and off. And this is just a recessed groove, basically, that sits here. All right, it's not friction fit particularly, and it doesn't have poor uh, pour spout, but it's very easy if you were straining off coffee grinds or something You just let the lid be loose and you can drain that off I'll also point out that this does have graduated measurement markings, so it's nice You can use this as a measurement or a measuring cup And of course if you're making some type of a recipe you have those lines there to help you in doing that uh, You can see it does have the Pathfinder logo right there, but overall just a nice lightweight perfect cup for around camp whether you're cooking on an alcohol stove or just brewing up coffee or whatever, this vessel would serve you well in that way. I will mention that when I'm carrying my bottle and cup set, I throw my lid down in the bottom of this stuff sack, and then I place my cup in there as well. Now, I just take my bottle and insert down in the cup. Also, if you want, you can insert your fish mouth spreader there and just cinch that whole thing down and now you have your bottle cup lid and your fish mouth spreader to hold the bottle over the fire all together in one nice kit so i really like using that in that way so the next piece i'd like to show you in the line is the titanium skillet and this is an excellent lightweight option for a solo skillet this thing is fairly small, so it would be great for cooking yourself breakfast, not necessarily for cooking everybody in camp breakfast. Um, but again, if you're a through hiker, or if you're carrying minimal kit to provide for yourself, this is an excellent option. Again, you can see it comes with this lightweight mesh stuff sack. And if you're familiar with the Pathfinder cutting board, just wanted to show you, it fits perfectly in that stuff sack underneath of this skillet. So that's what I've been doing is carrying my cutting board in the bottom of the bag. I put my skillet in there. And if you were lucky enough to get a hold of one of the titanium bush pots that came out last year, it perfectly nests with that. So if you already have the titanium bush pot, the skillet is definitely a great option because they nest together. You could also put the skillet and cutting board in this stuff sack with the bush pot and have it all together in one bag. I just kind of like keeping mine separate. That way when I want to use the skillet or cutting board, I don't have to remove the pot. and just do this, set that aside, and so that all works out really well. So to give you a better look at this skillet, this thing is very simple and extremely lightweight. It just has here a foldable handle and it has a little tensioner right here. You slide it down and that puts tension on it and now you have a very stable handle. I'll give you a close-up of it. Pull this back. It allows you to squeeze these handles together and they just fold into place. And this handle is completely removable if you wanted to do so. Just squeeze these two together and you can take the handle off. Uh, I'm not sure what that would be useful for but if you wanted to you could do that and it just folds up tensions in place and that's it 
Uh, I have cooked scrambled eggs in this pan. Uh, I've cooked sausage in this pan. It'd be great for cooking baking. You might have to slice it in half and put it in here, but it'll do a great job. And if you were cooking on like a rocket stove or an alcohol stove, this is an excellent little skillet for that. Ultra lightweight. And the final piece releasing in this new titanium line on October 30th is the new camp grill. And you can see this comes in a nice nylon pouch. It is rubberized on the inside, so if it gets dirty, greasy, grimy, you just stuff it in here. You can put it on the back wall of your backpack. You'll hardly even know it's there. And because of this pouch, you can keep the rest of your gear clean. You can see what this thing looks like. Again, being titanium, it's lightweight, but this is a nice heavy gauge of titanium, so it's not going to warp up over the fire very easily. You can see the Pathfinder logo there. Um, just a nice size. If you wanted to cook up a steak or a couple of hamburgers, whatever, you could easily do that on this. I used it last time in one of my videos for cooking up some smoked sausage. Works perfect. I'll show you a really easy way to set this thing up on your fire. So a really quick and easy way to set this camp grill up to do some great camp cooking is get yourself a couple of steaks, about one and a half to two inches in diameter. And you can see with these, I've just sharpened off a point at one end and I've used my folding saw to cut a kerf here. And that kerf, if you kind of hammer this thing down in there or if you widen the kerf up a little bit, you can easily fit this camp grill into that kerf. And now all you have to do is hammer these stakes in place into the ground. And you can drive this thing further in the ground to get it closer to the coals. Or if you want to slow cook, you just keep it up higher over your coals. And that gives you a very secure little cooking surface to work with right there. Um, in my last video, I did this and I put one on each corner, which was extremely stable. But two will work just fine, as you see here. I know Dave in a recent Instagram photo showed this type of setup. But again, it gives you flexibility of how high or close to the coals that you're cooking. So if you want a fast cook, you can drop that thing right down on the coals. Or if you want to slow cook, as I have it here, just up a little bit higher. Especially if you're using a keyhole fire, like I was in my last video. You just rake some coals up in here, and um, it works great. So this is an easy and simple way to camp cook with this titanium grill. So the key to cooking on titanium is to get your pan nice and coated with either butter or oil, whatever it is you're going to cook in. And you want to be careful because this is going to have a hot spot in it where that flame's coming up. So I'm going to constantly move my pan to adjust for that. I have an egg here. I'm just going to watch for that hot spot. I'll see where the egg starts to cook most and I'll try to move this pan around and that will correct for any problems there. I am using a Trangia alcohol stove and this is the Firebox Nano. I'm using that little simmer ring there. It'll help control some of that heat too. So as you can see, I've had no problem at all with sticking. What little bit of sticking did occur, I can easily scrape out of the bottom of this pan with my spoon. So titanium is good for non-stick like that. Again, the key to this is using low heat and making sure that you adjust the pan for any hot spots that you might have. But as you can see, this egg has scrambled up nice. So a great little solo skillet, easy to cook whatever you need to cook in it. All right, so I hope that this may have answered some of the questions that you may have had about the new Pathfinder Titanium line. Hopefully it gave you a good look at the individual pieces that we'll be releasing on October 30th and just a glimpse of them in action. Um, now that you know the pros and cons of titanium, this will give you an idea whether this is something that you may want to invest in or not and uh, just give you some more information about these pieces of kit. I appreciate you taking the time to tune in here at the Self-Reliance Outfitters channel. If you haven't checked out my personal channel, Black Hat Bushcraft, I'd be honored if you go over and take a look. If you like what you see, subscribe. Plenty of bushcraft videos, cooking, survival, it's all there. So I appreciate it if you go and check that out. It looks like I got a storm coming in, so I better eat these eggs and hunker down. Thanks again. Take care. 
Until the next one, be safe.